Welcome, class, to a workshop on Coach Joe Rules. In this lesson, we will review Coach Joe Rule number 23, which states, Methods should never return null. It is common to call a method that will return a string value, like prompting a user for a name. The user types a name and clicks OK. The value is returned. When they click Cancel, null can be returned since no value was typed. Doing so might cause downstream problems. The method signature is misleading. It says it returns a string, but sometimes it can be null. If a feature of the string is needed, like testing the length, a null value will produce an exception. This means every consumer of the method could be forced to do two things. First, check to see if the value is null, and process the non-null value. If there is more than one consumer of the method, there could be duplicate code. This goes against the acronym DRY, don't repeat yourself. Before returning a null value from a method, you should consider other options first. In some situations, if bad data was requested, throw an exception right now. This follows the fail fast approach and does not pass the problem on to the next process. Sometimes a default or neutral value can be returned. If the method returns a string, the default value could be an empty string. For a list, return an empty list. For a map, return an empty map or dictionary. What about user-defined objects? This monster factory method will accept a string value for the monster requested and return a monster object. What happens if the value is not found? Returning null will produce the same issue as before. Null checks will be needed. There could be duplicate code. Why pass the problem on to the next process? Like before, if bad data was requested, consider throwing an exception right now. Another option is to return a null object pattern. Look at this Dragon class compared to a null object. Both have properties and an interface that implement an attack method. The Dragon class calls an attack service class that randomly determines if the attack is successful. The null object result can be predictable or do nothing. Here, it always returns a failed attack. A null object is not always the preferred solution, but it can help prevent the need for null checks and null pointer exceptions while returning the expected data type. Third-party code and other commands can return null. You will not have control over their code base, but you can abstract away the possible null response. Build a wrapper class between your code and the code that could produce a null value. The wrapper class will call the method that could produce a null value. If null is detected, return one of the considered options, like a default value, throw an exception, or return a null object pattern. When your code calls the wrapper class, you are guaranteed a null value will not be returned. I challenge you to consider other options before returning null from a method. Leave a comment down below for a situation when null was needed or avoided. Look for other helpful Coach Joe videos. Remember, future senior developers, make it work, prove it works, then make it better. Ready? Break!